How to make tomato sauce from scratch the growing up Italian way. First things first, for this batch we decided to go with seven bushels and let me tell you, it was a lot of work. All right, so first step, you wanna take the tomatoes out, wash them, rinse them very nicely, and then strain them out so they're nice and dry after. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna boil them till they're a nice soft touch. Next up, you're gonna put them in a crate lined with tablecloth, and then you're gonna chop them up with a fork or whatever you have, this way you get the excess water out. After that, you're ready to put the tomatoes into the grinder. Here's my cousin Giovanni helping me out. I was the one putting the tomatoes in. He was scooping them up, putting it in the grinder for me. And boy, let me tell you, after a few hours, my arm was shot. So the way this grinder works is you can put the tomatoes through. It'll take the juice out and leave the skin and put it to the side. Now you're gonna have to go through the skin multiple times so you can get all that great tomato juice out of it. I mean, just look how good that looks. Now you're gonna boil the tomato juice to evaporate the water and you'll see the sauce start to get thicker. All we add to this is salt. I decided to have a little lunch break, have some chicken cutlet, threw on some of the fresh sauce on there and it was delicious. Back to my cousin Giovanni, here's me bothering him a little bit. Here's my Dia Maria putting the basil at the bottom of the mason jars. And the basil is purely used for flavor. Next, and this is the part where you need to be the most careful is when you're jarring the tomato sauce into the mason jars. Now, as you can see, my mom was very, very careful here when she put on the lid. At any moment, this jar can literally pop if you're not careful enough. You have to be very gentle. As you can see, she's using a glove because the jar itself is scorching hot. Now, granted, my mom closed this, but she didn't do it too tight because you have to leave a little, little, little bit of space after you put it in the crate lined with blankets just because you have to let it settle for a little bit. Now we usually let it settle for a couple days just because we want to get that pressure out and then eventually we'll seal the jars tight. Here's the aftermath, me full of sauce on my shirt. And ladies and gentlemen, this is 